Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Right now I'm at that moment where Sam and the girls went down to the barn and left me here alone. Definitely one of my favorite moments of the day when it's quiet and calm and just me and the dog. There's Macy in her favorite spot. Say hi Mace. She said hi. Every night when I go and say goodnight to Gabby in her bed, I have to, Macy runs over to the edge of the bed and I have to bend down and Macy has to kiss me goodnight. Let's see if she'll do it. Kiss, kiss. Oh, I don't know if I caught it. Let's see you again. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> so gross, but so loved. All of our animals are kissy animals, you guys. <laughs> we can't help it. Then we got the two troublemakers on the ground. The troublemakers. Cookie. 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 Say hi, Cook. Say hi. And her bratty boy. So I'm headed down now to help with chores. It is cold in the hood. Everybody's got their new fly masks on. <laughs> I love his ears. Some of you guys were wondering if Tough One sent us a fly mask for Stella. They did. She got a black one to go with her black and white color. Who's that? A pony? Stella was like limping a little. Stella bit. was limping, limping a little? Like in her front foot, but I don't know which one, but um, front right. Front right. Is she still? Uh, I don't think so. We need to see how long she wants. Yeah. But she... You'd be looking she good. She didn't want to pick up her back right foot. She didn't want to pick up her back right foot? That's typical for Stella. She doesn't want to pick up any foot. I don't know. When I go up to Stella, she lifts up her foot like nothing. Oh, there's no. my sweater. So we... Come on, you left your sweater down here. <laughs> don't yell at me to take my sweater off and you forgot your sweater. <laughs> Oh, I hate when that I happens. I forgot my kid. You got your kid and a peanut butter face to boot. You guys, this girl has started matching outfits so gorgeously. I'm I have black, faith. Black, and, black. and rainbow. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. I have faith that the clean face and the brushed hair I is have... about to happen. It's the next stage. I have Although it hasn't happened with this girl a yet. black shirt. Yeah, I love your outfit. So you just put and, that. And it says base before boys. Yeah. Bays before boys. I want to keep that going forever. So the girls are saying that Stella seems a little off in the front. Which would really suck. So I'm going to send a video to our trainer. Because I'm supposed to ride her today and obviously I'm not going to do that. And I'm supposed to have a show with her in two days. So let's Mom, just see what our trainer says. I'm excited for the show. Are you excited for the show? I want to use spurs. Yeah. My horse won't go fast. Are you allowed to use a crop? Yes. And you know how to make him go faster though. Uh, he doesn't do that when Fiona's not in the arena. Yeah. Or Her horses it. are so tricky. Oh mom, um, Fiona won't be in the ring with you. Oh, Fiona's going to be in the ring with me. I'm pretty oh, sure I would say. I'm aware. You know how they have ribbons for horses and they all mean different things? I'm going to have big huge ribbons in my, in my hair that are uh, green. I'm green, green rider. Oh, hello. Good morning to you. It's Hi, freezing baby. in here. Good morning to you. Mm. Yeah, she is a pretty girl. We saw a pony yesterday, and it was seriously the cutest pony on earth. Mm -hmm. And Gabby and I were like, that is the cutest pony on earth. And Gabby then, said that Willow was not as cute. So it opened the door for me. And Sophie cried. That's how bonded Sophie is with Willow. She's like, Willow is the cutest pony on earth. Pony. He's my pony. She's not. Hi Willow, you're not the cutest pony on earth. She's very cute, but this other pony honestly was she like did. half so her. Like that's all. Yeah, oh my gosh. Seriously, the cutest thing. No, she almost looks like the little leg. Yeah, so cute. Gracie, you be looking dirty. It's cold out. Hello, princess. Do you guys remember the days when we used to just open the door and let our ponies out? Whoa, look at the wind. I want her to just run out. Fine today. Oh, she's dirty. She's not stiff or sore today. At it's all. It's just been because she has like rock in her foot. Did you pick a so you hoof no picture? Rock. Yeah. It's it's hard. Feeding them hay is hard. Like you just gotta go. That's why there's a lot of fat ponies out there, I feel like. He's still alive. He's still alive. I don't know what this is. It's a moth. So you need to go put him someplace where he can dry his wings. Yeah, I, I put them all over there. Alright. Look, there's a little pathway here. 
Yeah, so Sam's gonna put some dirt in this mud today so we can get that cleared up. We need to like make it drain down there. Who's dapples? You know who doesn't have dapples this year? Stella. Stella. You know what that means? Means that she's not as healthy this year as she was last year. It's because she's not as fat this year, so she feels weird. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I see Gracie's dapples. You should put some hay in the arena. Oh, did you see that little toss her head over her back? Telling Gracie. Right. All right, let's get their fly masks on. I don't know. I see a lot of people complaining that they have a lot of flies this year. And we got not a lot. Like, we have a few. Like, they might have, like, two flies on their face at a time, but There's not no very often. Flies. Yeah. That's, it's windy and cold. Yeah. It is too cold in Canada for flies. Hold on when you need a friend. I'll never let you go again. Reach out when your mind's uneasy. Cause I'll understand. Hold on when you need a friend. I'll stay here to the end. Get up, don't hang your head. We'll take it step by step. Fell inside. Now I'm living in a matchbox. This time, all it needed was a little spark. Give me my heart back, cause somebody stole it and put it in your head. I am going to be scrubbing this wall at some point in the next week because I'm going to be getting it ready for Gracie. And I just wanted to make sure that my little sponge here is going to actually work. And I think it is going to work well. Yep, it's possible. It's possible. Who's going to have that job? Uh, you. Or We're Sophie. getting his stall clean. I'm going to scrub the mats and I'm going to scrub the walls. You're and Sophie. Me. I like to do this kind of stuff. But yeah, this yeah. is what happens when you have a... A poop, oops, sorry, a poop, a wall pooping horse. It's awful. Your horse is oh, literally man. the dirtiest no. horse. So, homeschool is well on the way. Girls know exactly what needs to get done. We, we have a list. They have a list. And they are good to go. And we are good to go because we need to do some running we around. Pizza yeah. Guys. If you guys are good and get all your work done, I will bring home pizza. We'll, we'll call you to get ice cream. Right, so we are still on our search for the horse shelter for our horses. We absolutely have to get this done before winter. So uh, this is an actual horse shelter. No, it does not go back far enough. This is so crazily small. No way. I'll show you a picture that somebody sent me. This is, I don't, I definitely do not want this. That's nice. So this is what I would get. But I don't want the other. No, I would get it like this, but two doors. So this one, take a flyer. Take a flyer. So this one has like, this is like the barn. This is kind of cute though. This is the tack room attached to the shelter, but that shelter was so narrow. I want like a, like a, like one that almost looks like a lean to like. You want to go to the other place? I want to go to the Mennonites. So there are Mennonites near us and everybody says, go to the Mennonites, but nobody knows where the Mennonites live. So anyway, we did find the name and we're going to go there and check it out. Cause uh, this is too narrow. Like, Look at this. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so somebody sent me this picture of a shelter, and this is fine. I'm totally happy with a shelter like this, but look at how far back it goes. Did you guys see how far back it goes compared to this? Like, that's so skinny, so narrow. Yeah, like, no, this is like, look at this one. Too narrow. I cannot put our horses in this. Like even if it had two spots, it does not go back. Okay. Big enough for them to come and turn around and look out the door like 
Yeah, that's all they'd be able to do. Come in, turn around, and look out the door. They can't get away from the wind, though. Or the snow. Like, if they stand with their butt here, their heads are going to be up there. Their heads are going to be out anyways. They like to look around. This is cute. This would be a chicken coop of my dreams. Half. Half would oh, be a chicken coop. This is, this for sure I could live in. Oh my gosh, I'd love to live in this. This would be such a great little cottage, like a little cabin. You put, look at, it's got like a little tiny. Bed. Yeah, you'd have like a double bed up there and then you'd have a double bed up there. And then you'd have like your little, I love this. I like it for our chickens. I want our chickens to live in style. Definitely not spending this much money on my chickens, even though I'd love to. I'd love to have chickens with a big, huge house like this, where they could go upstairs or fly around. I don't know, I love it. This one's cute. This is so cute. I love the door. And it's got windows. This is like a little cabin. Look inside. This is cute. This is cute. I like this for the chickens. Your office. It could be your office. office. So the reason this would be good for the chickens is because you could put their stuff in here and then you could put all their food stuff, like some shelves and stuff in there and yeah, all their so food you stuff. Fence it off here. Fence it off, yeah. Or uh, yeah, like and it's got that door. Mm-hmm. Fence it off. And I like it. All right, let's go. I seriously have to figure this out before much longer. It's already getting a lot colder in Canada and I need to be able to have a field to keep them in. Like right now, when the weather changes, I'm having to bring them into the barn and the arena so that they can stay dry or stay whatever out of the sun. Um, so these are my options. So if I go with a company like this, then this is what I'm going to get. Um, I don't want this because it's only got the one door. I want something like this. I'd rather than not even have the wall in there. I've seen ones with no wall in there. But Sam says I have to have a wall for structure. But I don't like how they're all the ones that I have an option to buy are wider than they are long. And I want them this wide, but I want them longer. I want them to be able to like go in and move to the back of the shelter. So my next try is going to be to find this um Amish what's it, what is it to find this Amish guy that apparently a build shed so I have a, a lead on where he lives and we're gonna head there first we're gonna go home because we told the girls that we bring the pizza we hardly ever eat out anymore so it's a special treat and um so yeah we're gonna go home eat pizza and then we're gonna go and try and find this Amish guy all right so I want to check all the school what percent did you get on your test today 100 percent 100 and 100 and what did you get on your test? I got 100 and 90. All right, you guys 99. know. So you yeah, guys, 99. you know, you know why you did so good? Because last year your teacher was so good. She taught you such good stuff. Last yeah, year we did it all online. So. <laughs> so your online teacher is good. All right, so we got. Let's see. Don't film plastic straws. Yeah. We can't film plastic straws for anymore. For fear we'll get attacked. We got garlic bread. Get a plate. We got celery and carrots. Who's gonna eat those? The horses. The horses. We got chicken wings. I want to see a pizza. They're meant to share, Missy. They are meant to share. And we got pizza. Does not look good. So the place that we got the pizza makes their pizza with provolone cheese which is why we bought pizza today because we were in the city of the place that sells pizza with provolone cheese move please excuse me please that is what good girls say my teacher say. did not teach me that i know your teacher needs to teach you better manners what are these pizzas? aren't they good <laughs> thanks mom for pizza you're welcome and dad thanks Okay, lunch is done and we are headed now to the Mennonites house. Like this is the first opportunity we've ever had to uh, deal with the Amish or the Mennonite. Actually, we did talk to, I like literally just talked to one Amish man this week. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do that. It's gonna be our first, our first experience. And I'm kind of excited to see what kind of deal they do. We found
found it. Oh my gosh. It's nice in here. Lots of wood. That's an 8x12. This is an 8x12? It's right here. Oh, this one here? Okay, that's perfect, actually. This is an 8x12. Is that what you're building? But you don't uh, have an 8x12. What's that? Oh. 8x12. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, what it is? It's 10x12. 10x12. It's shorter than 8x12. Okay. All right. All right. So if you are somebody who wants to know the difference so basically i think all these sheds are made by the mennonites and then amish all these sheds are made by the amish and the, like a company commissions them and then they sell them so if we bought so when we order a shed from them it's going to cost us how much twenty one hundred dollars twenty two hundred dollars okay so for this one so for ten by twenty it costs Twenty two hundred twenty two sixty, so two thousand two hundred and sixty. And for the same price of the same shed, it is seven thousand one hundred. So wow, what a huge difference. Like these like Sam's like, let's just buy all their sheds and sell them. <laughs> like everybody else does. So yeah, we're gonna go with the Amish. They're gonna build us a shed and I am excited. There's not like a ton of choices that you really get. They just have like, you pick the size and they build it. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build our horses a shed. Don't let it get to you, you're better. You brought him an apple? <laughs> He's like, I'm going for grain. He wants to go for supper. <laughs> I love your blue ear. So uh, Sam has this little pole here with a light on it to keep our, our electricity thing and he Put some little hooks here, which is really thoughtful for the girls' halters. My heart was dead and broken, but now it's found a home. Fell inside, now I'm living in a matchbox. to go and get me some so I sent him to get me these things because uh, mine are flat and Fiona said I need new ones and I wanted the cheese grater ones that look like cheese graters because guess what Gabby has and he, there weren't any there Why get new ones? so yeah I said if they can't you can't get them and don't get them because I have these ones uh, but look at the stirrup you broke it. yeah that's all right I have another so I might just change my stirrups to these ones or take these ones out and take put them. these ones out. Yeah, take so easy. Yeah, all right, oh gosh. I get nervous, I don't know why. I'm such a nervous Nelly. We're supposed to be like cleaning our saddles and our shoes tonight. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on, all right. Sorry, you guys aren't going in. You're gonna have your, your hay out here and I'm gonna, oh no, oh no, I'm being charged. <laughs> You're not. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Whoa, cheeky little pony. This is how you tell you're not being charged. <laughs> yeah, she's a kissing pony. Oh, you're so cute. Morning, the girls told me that they that they thought that Stella was walking funny. So. Stella's out. Oh, good. Okay, bring her out here. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little video for Fiona. <laughs> Stella's like, get me my food. It's a hot dog. Uh, just to see. So she 
she's definitely not doing any kind of founder situation. A few yeah. days after her shot, um, she was doing some like, I don't know what the word is, where they shift their feet a little bit. And uh, I watered her food more yeah. and I did a few things and she's, she feels good though. Like her feet are good. All right, so hopefully you're not lame. She isn't. I said that a thousand times. She's All right, fine. I don't know why, but I don't know why this morning they told me that she was lame. All right, pray you guys, pray that my girl is not lame, but I think she looks okay. I'm gonna send a video to Fiona and make sure. 18 braids in this. Wait, I'm freaking out a little. You didn't cut her hair, we didn't clean her tack, we didn't. No, we're doing this tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be a full day of show You're prep. 18 braids in this, I hope you Oh do. my gosh. Gabby you You're and getting Gabby 18 braids. No. I'm gonna be braiding for 16 years tomorrow. Sophie, you gotta braid your own no, horse. I'm braiding Storm and us. Oh, okay, and I'll be braiding Stella. Oh my gosh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to panic, you guys. Okay, she wants her braiding. All right, yeah, go give her her grain. Go give her but her grain. But is braiding, because she wants her, All right. her his I mane to, to be good. nice. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> oh, one last thing. So Sam did put some sand here, but I'm gonna have to like, ew, it's like squishy. Uh, I'm gonna even it out a bit. Definitely makes a big, huge difference in the mud situation, but we're gonna have to like try and get it so that the mud flows. I don't know, we're gonna have to put some dirt out here, I think, for winter. When you have horses, getting them ready for winter is so much work, I can't get over it. But anyway, that is it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the craziest day of our year. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.